Hello, what is up friends? Welcome slash welcome back. My name is Kay and today I am here to talk about this crazy ass week that we have had in the Big Brother Canada house. This man, Kyle Moore, has lost his freaking mind. This past week, I probably witnessed the worst HOH rain that I've ever seen in Big Brother history and I am not playing about that one. I mean, this was just ridiculous to watch. I guess I'm ready to talk about it. Buckle up, let's go. So last week when we saw Kyle Moore win HOH, he was in a pretty good spot at the time. He was in the big majority alliance that usually forms and he also had some side alliances and some individual relationships that were really strong as well. I mean, he was pretty much aligned with everyone except for Betty and Jess. So I'm thinking, okay, this week is going to be boring, right? It's going to be common sense that Kyle would nominate the two people that he's not really aligned with, right? Well, let me tell y'all, common sense is not common for everybody, okay? And due to Kyle being naive and gullible, he lets Moose convince him to target Stephanie and then he lets Stephanie convince him to target Moose like at the same time though. Like, okay, so I can maybe, maybe understand him being sus of one of the two, right? Especially if they're saying, you know, dirty things about each other. But it just does not make any sense to me on God's green earth why you would nominate them both at the same time. Like, what? Like, I'm trying to be understanding and I'm trying to like get this from Kyle's point of view, but I just can't, there's no logic here. We see Kyle go up to nominate Stephanie and Moose with Moose being the prime target, which is especially weird considering the fact that they knew each other prior to coming into the house. Like they weren't friends, but they were acquaintances. And Moose also was not coming after Kyle at all. So this whole thing is just weird. It's stupid, it's foolish, it's confusing. It's just, it's, it's asinine. Asinine, yes, asinine is the perfect word to describe Kyle's decisions. Let's, let's, let's bring in the dictionary. Let's look it up. Asinine, extremely stupid or foolish. Some synonyms include, Stupid, foolish, pointless, brainless, mindless, senseless. Yup, that's definitely Kyle's HOH, all right. Kyle tries his best to blow up Moose's game and to get everybody to rally against Moose. But of course, this plan just blows up in his face and in true BB fashion, we see that Moose is going to win the power of veto and of course, take himself off the block. So yay, Moose. I'm glad you were able to save yourself and take yourself off the block because let me tell you, that was some bullshit. That was complete BS. <sighs> now with Moose off the block, it should all be so simple, but Kyle just has to make it hard, doesn't he? You see, now Marty is going to get into Kyle's head and Marty is going to throw Josh under the bus and tell Kyle to target Josh. He says that Josh is a huge threat and that he has the potential to win. Now let's pause and rewind for just a second because technically, Technically, I don't think Marty is wrong here. I do think that Josh is a huge threat to win this game. In fact, he was my number one winner pick after watching the first episode. On paper, Josh is just like the perfect candidate for a BB winner. But I'm also personally like very team Josh and I don't want anybody coming for him ever so at zip it Marty, okay? Even though Josh could be a future threat, I just think this is a terrible move for Kyle's game right now. Just like with Summer and Moose, Josh was not coming for your ass, like at all. It doesn't make any sense to go after him now, especially when it means risking your alliances with pretty much everybody else in the freaking house. Like, come on, Kyle, oh my goodness. I do not know what this man was thinking. His game has been such a hot mess this past week. Like, gosh. I know some of y'all were comparing him to Frenchie, 
from BB23, but I disagree. I actually think that Kyle's HOH was way worse than Frenchie's because Kyle was in a great spot and he already had the numbers because he was in the majority alliance and he had more numbers because he was in the side alliances and now he barely has any alliances at all. So wow, good for you, Kyle. After Kyle names Josh as his replacement nominee, Kyle is comfortable and Steph is confident for whatever reason and Josh and his friends start putting in the work. Josh already had a few really strong alliances in the house, but he also had really great personal relationships with people too, just because he's super charismatic and he has a great temperament and he just seems like a nice person and everybody likes Josh, right? Stephanie, on the other hand, didn't seem to be doing as much campaigning at all. And she wasn't really liked as much as Josh. Like she kind of rubbed a few people the wrong way sometimes. So there's that. Josh is able to get most of the house rallied on his side, including Marty, who was the one who wanted to target him in the first place. Like I said, Josh has such a good temperament and he's just so smooth and he's so chill. Like when you talk to him, the conversations flow like butter. You know what I mean? It doesn't always look like he's playing the game that hard or putting in a lot of work, but he is really good at at building close individual bonds with people. And that conversation we saw on the show where Josh was kind of able to appeal to Marty and change his mind a little bit, really showcased that. On eviction night, the house guests all go up to vote. And as we see, Stephanie is voted out with a nine to two vote in the first blind side of the season. Yes. We got our first blind side. Like it must be really embarrassing to get blindsided and I do kind of feel bad for Stephanie, but as a viewer, I'm here for it. This is what the people want. Just seeing the looks on Kyle and Stephanie and JC Lynn's face, delicious. Josh, you are safe. Oh. Stephanie, I'm sorry. You've been evicted from the Big Brother Canada house. Please get your things and say your goodbyes. My goodness. This is what the people came to see. So what did you all think of Kyle's chaotic HOH reign? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. As much of an absolute train wreck this was, it provided some high quality feeds and top notch entertainment. So I'm not gonna complain too much more. I'm really, really excited to see how the season is going to play out now. Make sure if you are not already to hit the subscribe button below so you can stay updated as we finish off BB Can 10. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.